the reason I, I, I said that I think it is the most significant problem that we've got uh, is that I think some of the aspects of current American government that, that people on both sides find frustrating are in part a, uh, a, a function uh, of the inability of people to understand how government can and should function. Uh, it, is, it is a product uh, of civic ignorance. What I worry about uh, is, uh, is, is a remark that Benjamin Franklin made, and uh, Susan, Susan Leahy quoted Jefferson at the beginning about how uh, an, an ignorant people can never remain a free people. Democracy cannot survive too much ignorance. Franklin, uh, in effect, had, uh, had a comment to which the Jefferson comment is a kind of an answer or a response. And I, you probably have heard this, but it bears repeating. Uh, Franklin was asked by someone, I think, on the streets of Philadelphia shortly after the 1787 convention adjourned, what kind of government the Constitution would give us if it was adopted. And Franklin's famous answer was, uh, a republic if you can keep it. You can't keep it in ignorance. I don't worry about our losing republican government in the United States because I'm afraid of a foreign invasion. I don't worry about it because I think there is going to be a coup by the military, as has happened in some other places. What I worry about is that when problems are not addressed, people will not know who is responsible. And when the problems get bad enough, as they might do, for example, with another serious terrorist attack, as they might do with another financial meltdown, some one person will come forward and say, give me total power and I will solve this problem. That is how the Roman Republic fell. Augustus became emperor not because uh, he arrested the Roman Senate. He became emperor because he promised that he would solve problems that were not being solved. If we know who is responsible, I have enough faith in the American people uh, to demand performance from those responsible. If we don't know, we will stay away from the polls. We will not demand it. And the day will come when somebody will come forward and we and the government will in effect say, take the ball and run with it. Do what you have to do. Uh, that is the way democracy dies. And if something is not done to improve the level of civic knowledge, that is what you should worry about at night. So to end where I began, uh, the, the support of civic education in the United States, including in this state, uh, is, is a public problem and a public responsibility which is second to none.